So Mark Dinning, uh, Head of Conservation for the Durham Wildlife Trust. Mark, here we are at Hannah's Meadow. Tell me about the importance of this site. Yes, yeah, so welcome to Hannah's Meadow. So Hannah's Meadow, it's a Durham Wildlife Trust Nature Reserve. The Trust purchased the site in 1988. It's predominantly an upland hay meadow. Upland hay meadows are exceptionally rare. They're one of the UK's rarest habitats. It's around 900 hectares of upland hay meadow in the UK. Um, the North Pennines, where we are here, um, is one of the most important places in the UK for upland hay meadows. It having around about 350 hectares of upland hay meadow, of which Hannah's Meadow is about six hectares of that. And where did Hannah live, Mark? So Hannah lived at Low Burkat Farm. So just down in the bottom of the valley here, we've got Low Burkat Farm. Then we have a couple of her meadows that she would have that she managed through traditional methods while she while she lived here. And what kind of wildlife can people expect to see here? So there's a range of wildlife through through the spring and through the spring and the summer. Um, meadows aren't just important for for the many plants that we find in them but they're also important in this part of the world for a lot of the bird species we find here so within within this meadow we have breeding meadow pipit skylark and lapwing the very late hay cuts that are taken on this meadow so late july basically allow birds to bring their broods all the way through and also the late hay cut ensures that the diversity of plant species that we find in in these meadows so the plant communities we find in these meadows um, are allowed are allowed to thrive and set seed and people can now come here and explore this beautiful part of the world they can absolutely so we've just we've just installed a fantastic new interpreted trail uh, from Balderhead Reservoir all the way around to Hannes Meadow it's about a mile in a mile in distance it's a nice little loop um, and there's interpretation all the way along the route which tells you a little bit about about just the importance of the meadow and all the plants and invertebrates and bird life that we find here but also the importance of the wider ecological landscape as well and also nice little bits about the geological landscape that we can see all the way around us too and just thinking about hannah i mean she died in 2018 but what you've done here guarantees that her story will live on. Absolutely. So, what we've, what has been captured, has been the story of Hannah and of Hay Meadows. It's because of the way Hannah managed this site with her traditional methods um, that the tr that the site was in such a good position for the for the trust to take on in, in 1988 and, and cons conserve as one of its flagship nature reserves. What do you think she would have thought of this? Well, Hannah always used to say she used to enjoy the bonny flowers, um, but she didn't, she never considered their importance. So I think she always just felt that they were, they were, they were always, they were always here. And Hannah's world was low Burkhart farm and the wider world she didn't see the decline in nature that that has that has occurred um meadows like this about 97 percent loss of meadows like this over the last 75 years so actually what hannah saw here was a very small small representation uh of 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 of, of of, of what really was an exceptional exceptional natural resource that she was she was a guardian of and i think it wasn't until she left low burke hat that she that she fully fully appreciated just the special rare habitat that she'd been the custodian of all of our life